This video will provide an overview of the hydraulic valve lifters used in the Porsche 944. Hydraulic valve lifters are superior to solid lifters in that they typically provide quieter operation, longer engine life, and eliminate the need for periodic valve adjustments. It's common for the valve train to rattle a bit on cold start due to oil draining from the lifters while the vehicle is parked. This should diminish within a couple minutes, however. A persistent tapping can indicate a blocked oil feed or that one or more of the lifters has collapsed, in which case they should be replaced. The lifters can also be inspected whenever the camshaft housing is removed for other maintenance on the car. Excerpts from the factory workshop manual indicate that during removal, the lifters should be stored so that the oil bore faces up and also do not mix them up. During reinstallation, they go back in in the same order and inspect their operation. And if you experience a major engine failure, as in a bearing failure, the hydraulic tappets should be replaced as well. Here's a closer look at the hydraulic tappets or valve lifters. These are commonly referred to as a bucket lifter because of their shape and design. Oil fills the bottom of this bucket through this inlet. And in the center is a button or piston under which is a spring and a ball check valve to maintain oil pressure. Oil is supplied through the block and cylinder head up into the channel in this camshaft housing and into these veins where it fills the cylinder bores. And when the lifter is in a closed position, that inlet will ride along this channel. Fill with oil, and then when it is compressed by the camshaft lobe into a open valve position, that inlet is effectively blocked off by the bore, rendering it essentially incompressible. So these don't need to be adjusted. There's a zero tolerance, and they don't break or wear out. They should last the life of the vehicle. However, the one disadvantage over a conventional solid lifter is that because of that check valve, which can get clogged with carbon residue and sludge, they're more sensitive to the quality of engine oil and the frequency of oil changes. And so when I have these out, it's a good idea to test them to see if they are clogged or if they're still good. So when these first come out of the car, they should maintain uh, rigidity on this piston. You shouldn't really be able to compress it too much um, I've got a couple that have gone soft. So my three and my six lifter have gone soft. And if the car was recently run, they should be firm for a few weeks before they would leak out. Um, but these aren't as firm as I would like them to be. There's a few ways that we can prime them. I've got some replacements from Plyhammer's parts. Um, these are pre-owned, but I got a good deal on them. So I picked up 10 of them and I primed them. You can submerge them in oil and press repeatedly on the piston to try to work some of that air out and fill it up with oil. And you can also alternatively put them in a jar and apply a vacuum to it to suck the air out. And once that's done, if we press on the lifters, we can see a few different behaviors. So first, once they're filled, if it's still soft or spongy, that check valve is probably clogged and the lifter is bad and should be replaced. On the other hand, if it's incredibly firm and after applying 50 pounds or more of pressure to it uh, and it doesn't leak out of the hole at all, that's also probably um, a bad lifter. And finally, a good lifter is one where if you put your upper body weight on it, 50 to 60 pounds, and you can see a little bit of oil weeping out of that hole, um, that's how we would know that it's uh, a good lifter and you can keep those in the car. So I'm gonna be replacing two with these that I have tested. These are all too soft and this one was too hard and so these ones checked out pretty good. So I'll just pick two of these and swap them out with my three and six when they go back in the car so that we have proper operation of the valves. When installing the lifters into the camshaft housing, they should be coated with some motor oil or engine assembly lubricant. And if you place the lubricant in the freezer for about 30 minutes prior to installation, it'll raise the viscosity and decrease the likelihood of the lifters falling out when the camshaft housing is installed on the head.